Hello, little angels. How are you? It's great to see you. Today, we are learning about number bonds. Are you excited? Let's begin. Look, we have one red marble and three blue marbles. So, four marbles in total. We can make a number bond like this. Here, one and three are the paths. Four is the hole. Because when we add the two paths together, we get the hole. So, here we have one plus three equals four or three plus one equals four. You can see the commutative property of addition here. Besides, when we subtract a part from the whole, we get the other part. So, here we have 4 minus 1 equals 3. Or 4 minus 3 equals 1. Look, these two addition facts and two subtraction facts together are a fact family. Now, let's have some practice. Task 1. Look at each picture, then Make a number bond using the picture. To do this task, pause this video to download and print the worksheet below. Then, try to do it on your own. When you finish, Replay the video to check the answers with me. Let's find the answers together. First, we have two apples and five bananas. So, seven fruits all together. We can make a number bond where 2 and 5 are the parts 7 is the whole Next, we have 3 dogs and 4 cups So, 7 pets in total We can make a number bond where 3 and 4 are the parts. 7 is the whole. Next, we have 4 tissues and 4 pants. So, 8 items in all. We can make a number bond where 4 and four at the paths. Eight is the whole. The last one. We have six jaws and three teddy bears. So, 
nine toys in total, we can make a number bond where six and three are the parts, nine is the whole. Now, take a break for a while and then we move on to task two. Task two. Fill in the missing number in each number bond. To do this task, pause this video to download and print the worksheet below. Then, try to do it on your own. When you finish, replay the video to check the answers with me. Let's find the answers together. First, to find the home, just add the two paths together. So, just add four and two. We get six. Therefore, six is the whole. Next, to file part, just subtract the other part from the whole. So, subtract 5 from 8, we get 3. Therefore, 3 is the part. Next, to find the whole, just add the two paths together. So, add 7 and 3. We get 10. Therefore, 10 is the whole. The last one. To find a part, just subtract the other part from the whole. So, subtract 4 from 9, we get 5. Therefore, 5 is the part. Super! You've finished the lesson. Now, it's time to relax. Enjoy yourself. Bye for now and see you soon.